13, the province submits that requiring Northern Gateway to show now that it will have the ability to respond effectively to a spill is particularly important because there will be no subsequent public process in which that ability can be probed and tested. In paragraph 114, and there is a serious reason to question Northern Gateway's ability to respond effectively to a spill, a number of experts representing Environment Canada and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans have opined that the effects of an oil spill into the marine environment can persist for decades. Paragraph 127, therefore at this time the most reliable figures, there they are, 13.5% in the confined channels and 68.5% in open water areas, before the Joint Review Panel indicate that in these seasons, that's fall and winter, there are significant periods during which oil spill response will be impossible or severely constrained. Now that's quite, those are quite strong words. Impossible for a response is a very strong uh, statement by the BC government. The province submits that Northern Gateway has not shown that it will be able to establish a spill response regime capable of responding effectively to spills, let alone one that is world class. 139, with this limited explanation and the absence of supporting facts concerning the means by which the scaling factors were arrived at, there is simply no way in which the JRP could rely on the conclusions made in the quantitative risk assessment. However, the factual basis for these figures is entirely absent. This is a scale.